<laughs> and so here are the documents or some of the photographs I've taken, uh, which are not in some kind of disorder, so they're kind of grouped. Uh, and it's um, 50 years ago now all this has happened. And I cannot remember s some of the faces at all. It's terrible to see these faces that... Um, Surely I know that one, but where, where? I'll have to read all through this again. What a terrible labor. <laughs> well, meanwhile, this is a... Uh, so, this is 50 years ago what I wrote. This is a couple of years later when I wrote that book. And here's the documents um, which I'm trying to put together with what I wrote here. So if I talk about these, you understand it's all very, um, it, it jumps. It can't help jumping. Well, here's the, here's Edem for one. Now, Edem was uh, the mambo I met uh, after um, I had just arrived in Jacmel and uh, a, 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 lanky, low, a large, somewhat lanky fellow came up to me and asked me, in a disgusting kind of English, whether I wanted to see a woman with her talking jackass. Uh, what on earth is he talking about, I thought, you know. I said, no, what do you mean a talking jackass? <laughs> Come and see. So having nothing better to do, I went with my friend Gerard, a young Haitian man who I was very fond of and who accompanied me for a long time. Dieudon was the name of this woman. I realized she was a woman with a familiar spirit, and if you wanted to have advice about uh, this, that, or the other, she would go into a trance, and the talking jackass would be the spirit talking out of her. So, but why in, on earth um, this man had thought of her as being a woman with a talking jackass? I can't think where he came up with that notion. Very interesting. Jodon was her name, and I took a kind of shine to her, and as she was just about to get in, initiated into voodoo as a priestess, and was saying it was terribly hard for her to find the money, it was hundreds of dollars, and every time she, the price kept on going up, <laughs> I offered to um, help her, I was having some money to spare of my own. And the woman that she was going to be initiated by was Idem. And a very um, interesting character she was. Very, very interesting. She was married uh, to Grumosso. Grumosso! Uh, who was, uh, uh, must have been her uh, lieutenant in her early days and was also, um, had a political. Uh, existence as a trade unions leader, you might say, before there was such a thing, um, and managed to scoop a lot of money into his own pocket by arranging deals with the local landowners. They were always fighting, and he was always in debt to her, and he talked like a circus barker. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> but Eden was uh, really uh, very fine, very fine, and also completely out of order lady when she got possessed. She would get possessed by one or other of her, uh, especially the under, underworld spirits who are known for their cunning, their medical knowledge, their uh, savoir-faire, their underhand dealings, uh, sexual proclivities and all the rest. <laughs> And she would really lay it out on everyone. For, sometimes she'd get a ceremony would get interrupted by one of these uh, brave. He uh, was her special underworld demon, 
and for an hour or so, you know, he would just be pestering everyone around and causing confusion everywhere. 